dear students uh, welcome to the sixth lecture i am dr kirti kumar patel assistant professor in department of chemistry at nb mehta science college borgi uh, this uh, in uh, previous lectures we have seen about in five lectures about the uh, adsorptions basics of adsorption process then we had seen about friendlich adsorption isotherm language uh, langmuir's adsorption isotherm types of uh, adsorption isotherms as well as we have seen about uh, the bet equation and uh, and uh, how the equation can be uh, used for calculating surface area the last lecture we have seen about the bet equation bet equation was given by p upon uh, v total p0 minus p equals 1 upon vm into c plus c minus 1 upon vm into c into p upon p0 where v total is uh, the volume absor adsorbed per unit mass of adsorbent uh, at pressure p and temperature t so whatever the total volume of gas has been adsorbed in formation of multi molecular layer uh, at pressure p and temperature t that we call it as total volume or v total the volume required for formation of mono layer uh, at temperature uh, t and pressure p is called as vm this vm can be converted to stp conditions and from there we will be finding out the surface uh, area so vm is very much necessary for us that is Uh, v mono or uh, vm values then we have p0 is uh, saturated vapor pressure at room temperature at uh, the temperature t and c is a constant the c are the constants which is uh, dependent on the nature of the gas and uh, it can be given as e to the power of delta h1 minus delta hm upon rt where delta hm is the standard heat of adsorption <coughs> standard heat of adsorption at uh, for the uh, first uh, layer formation uh, that is heat of adsorption which is uh, heat liberated for the formation of first layer delta hm is heat of condensation for the subsequent layers that is for second third fourth layers whatever heat is being evolved that is heat of condensation or delta hm delta h1 is the heat of adsorption that is heat released as in the formation of mono layer so this will be giving us the value of uh, c now uh, when we take Uh, in uh, graph of this uh, p upon v total into p0 minus p versus p upon p0 it will be a straight line with this uh, slope as c minus 1 upon vm into c and intercept along the y axis as 1 upon v upon uh, vm into c this will be giving us uh, the slope plus intercept will be giving us value of uh, vm that vm can be converted to uh, vx uh, that is vol uh, volume at stp and that volume of stp can be further calculated to form the to uh, calculate the number of atoms uh, of gas or number of molecules of gas required for formation of mono layer now if you know uh, the number of atoms or molecules required for formation of mono layer and each of the molecules uh, area of cross section then we can find out the surface area it is very much similar to uh, this way where these are the molecules Uh, which are being occupied for formation of a mono layer now if we know uh, the number of molecules that are present here let this number be equal to x and if each of the uh, uh, molecule is occupying an area of sigma then x into sigma will be giving us the total surface area that is present over here so that will be giving us the surface area of uh, the adsorbent Uh, which forms a mono uh, x number of molecules uh, are forming mono layer and uh, with a cross area of cross section sigma so here if x is given by uh, p0 vx into na upon rt0 where vx is the volume uh, of uh, molecules required uh, for formation of mono layer at stp conditions where stp conditions means p0 and c0 p0 will be equal to 1 atmospheric pressure and t0 will be equal to 273.15 kelvin so uh, product of s uh, x into sigma will be giving us the surface area this uh, formula we will be using it for for, for calculating uh, surface areas so let us go for first problem uh, that is uh, the vo uh, volume of nitrogen gas uh, vm measured at stp uh, required to form a complete mono layer on a sample of silica gel is say 129 cm cube per gram of uh, silica gel calculate the surface area per gram of silica gel 
if each of the uh, nitrogen molecule occupies 16.2 into 10 raised to minus 20 square meter area uh, that is area of cross section is this so what we have been provided is sigma is equal to 16.2 into 10 raised to minus 20 meter square then we have all, uh, also been provided as vx uh, that is uh, the volume of nitrogen required at stp is uh, 129 cm cube per gram so these two things have been provided to us what uh, we have formula uh, is s is equal to x into sigma where x is this and so uh, this we can have it as uh, s is equal to p0 vx into na into sigma upon r t0 we have values of p0 is equal to uh, 1 atmospheric pressure or 101 325 um, pascals or newton per meter square vx is being given to you uh, as 129 uh, cm cube per gram this we need to convert it into dm cube so that will be 129 into 10 raised to minus 3 dm cube per gram then we have na na will be 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 number of molecules uh, then sigma is being given to you 16.2 into 10 raised to minus 20 square meter then we have r is equal to 8.314 and we have t0 is equal to 273.15 kelvin so uh, these values are being given to you what we can have is we can calculate uh, then either first the number of uh, molecules that is either x is equal into sigma or directly substituting it into uh, this formula so in two ways we can calculate it if we say uh, we are calculating the number of molecules then number of molecules x will be equal to Uh, 129 into 10 raised to minus 3 upon uh, 22.4 uh, this uh, we require it because at STP an ideal gas will be uh, occupying 22.4 uh, dm cube of volume and uh, our gas is occupying uh, 129 into 10 raised to minus 3 number of molecules this will be having uh, Avogadro's number of molecule so here we can calculate the number of uh, molecules very easily so this will be a num uh, this will be number of uh, moles so we can get the number of molecules from here as x is equal to 129 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 6.022 10 raised to 23 upon 22.4 this will be giving us the number of molecules now if, and we have number of molecules we have sigma value so s will be equal to x into sigma that is 129 point into 10 raised to minus 3 into 6.022 10 raised to 23 divided by 22.4 into uh, sigma that is 16.2 into 10 raised to minus 20 so this when we calculate it you can solve this uh, and uh, we, what we will get is 560 meter square per gram 560 meter square per gram uh, will be uh, the value that we will be uh, getting it uh, so that will be giving us the surface area of uh, silica gel which will be uh, absorbing 129 cm cube of uh, nitrogen gas at STP conditions. The uh, second problem uh, we can solve uh, is uh, adsorption of nitrogen uh, on an iron catalyst was determined at 78 Kelvin and the bet plot of the data yielded the value of Vm as 7.35 into 10 raised to minus 3 dm cube so our vx will be equal to 7.35 into 10 raised to minus 3 dm cube 
per gram of adsorbent when reduced to NTP. Assuming that the gas molecule adsorbed in the first layer are closely packed and calculate the surface area of the adsorbent. Molecular area of nitrogen is 16 into 10 raised to minus 20 meter square that is sigma is being given to you. This is very much similar to what we had just solved. So uh, you can easily solve this problem. Uh, what you have to do is first you have to uh, calculate uh, the number of moles number of moles uh, of nitrogen adsorbed number of moles of nitrogen adsorbed will be equal to 7.35 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 22.4 dm cube this will be giving us number of moles now uh, from this moles can be converted to number of molecules by multiplying it with Avogadro's number so number of mo molecules then can be calculated as number of molecules of nitrogen adsorbed will be equal to 7.35 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 22.4 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. This will be giving us the number of uh, molecules of uh, this nitrogen adsorbed. Now uh, we can calculate the surface area surface area S will be equal to X into sigma. So here X will be 7.35 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 divided by 22.4 into sigma is 16 into 10 raised to minus 20. This should give us the total surface area of the molecules. So now uh, what we can uh, do is uh, this will be yielding us thirty one point six one five five into ten raised to uh, this will be giving us minus three plus twenty three minus twenty so it will be totally ten raised to zero so this will be giving us thirty one point six two meter square so our surface area from here as we can calculate is 31.62 meter square here this 10 raised to minus 3 23 and 20 gets cancelled so it will be 7.35 into 6.022 into 16 upon 22.4 that is 31.62 meter square per gram per gram of uh, iron catalyst uh, that will be giving us the total uh, surface area of that uh, particular uh, catalyst. So this was our problem 2 which was very much similar to problem 1. If you understand the problem solving sessions then like the videos, comment it, uh, uh, whatever uh, problems you have it. If you have other problems also you comment it, I will give you answers for that. Share this video with your friends and uh, subscribe it for uh, further uh, uploads of this uh, kind. So thank you, thank you very much.